Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach. And in this episode, I wanna talk about a notion from Stephen Pressfield, who is the author of books such as War of Art and Do the Work. And this notion is what he terms as shadow career. So that's the topic I wanna to discuss today. Now, before I fully dive into it, I would like to take the opportunity to invite you to subscribe if you haven't already, that we get all the various lessons and episodes that I put out right when I put them in. Thank you if you just did, and thank you if you already were. It truly does mean a lot to me, as I hope it does to you. So a shadow career, as he defines it, is something that it's, it, you know, take whatever your creative passion is. If it's a musician, if it's a painter, if it's a writer, if it's a director, and so forth, right? Whatever that is, it, a shadow career is something that's related to that, but not really that thing. So in a sense, if you want to be a musician, well, a shadow career in some sense could be an agent. It could be a, a music lawyer. It can be a, an accountant for musicians, something related along those lines. Now, mind you, I'm not saying those are bad careers or I'm not knocking them. I'm simply saying, you know, if whatever the thing you want you know, and you're not doing it, then that kind of becomes your shadow career. Now, here's where it gets really interesting because your shadow career can exemplify itself in kind of different ways, right? So if let's say you want to really be a musician, you know, and I only use this simply because uh, there's the stereotype of, you know, musicians just being partiers, drinking, you know, drugs and sex, you know, sex, drugs, uh, rock and roll type of thing. Well, if you're kind of just living a promiscuous life and, you know, doing drugs and, you know, drinking alcohol and things like that, well, that, the, those acts can technically be your shadow career, right? Because it's like you're getting the highs of, the, uh, of what you perceive to be, you know, what musicians do, but you're not doing the actual thing that makes a musician, right? And it's this aspect that I find really fascinating because, you know, I think uh, in a lot of ways, you know, whether it's alcohol or drugs, um, I think it's kind of a stereotype tied into a lot of the arts, you know, like, you know, Hemingway drank and uh, Bukowski was a drinker. Um, I'm naming writers at the moment, if you're unfamiliar. And we kind of romanticize that aspect of it. But they, you know, whether or not that's healthy, I'm not going to judge it, but they certainly wrote. And so if you're just going to do the drinking part, but not the writing part, um, you know, that's certainly not good. I would recommend not having to drink in order to write. But, uh, you know, if you're, if you're going to do both, well, then do both. Don't just do the drinking part without the writing part, right? And you can extrapolate this um, to whatever creative field you want. But that is the idea of like, you know, lit, having a shadow career and um, instead of really focusing on what it is that is your true passion. And so it can be a physical career, right? It can be a physical job uh, that, that is a shadow career, um, or it can be some certain actions. And, you know, this is sometimes like, it's interesting. People will tell you of like, okay. And I've heard this a lot, like, you know, um, maybe it's good to do X, Y, and Z job because that'll get you closer and that'll get you connections. And then you could start the thing as opposed to, you know, um, for example, a lot of, uh, at least from my experience, people will say, you know, in order to break in as a writer, you should um, you should really start off as a production assistant or do this or do this job. Everything but like any, anywhere being close to a write, um, writer and writing. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, listen, I understand like getting a job in a writer's room might be tough, but like that should be the goal, right? If that's like your passion, then then don't waste, you know, it's a fine line. I won't explicitly say like, don't waste your time on X, Y, and Z because there are people who have gone that route and 
you know, then went on to do their thing um, and they benefited because of it. Um, but I would also argue that a lot of those people were kind of exploring and maybe didn't know that they truly wanted to just be writers or so forth, right? Um, so I think, you know, in that sense, there's always something to be gained with whatever job um, that you're doing. So always give it your full attention and your presence. Don't just think that you're above the job just because that's the job that you have. But at the same time, you know, if whatever your passion is, I would also say like, it's okay to have a more direct path to it um, to get to where you want. Um, instead of, you know, listening to like, you know, try to do X, Y, and Z because that'll get you closer. It's like, no, what'll get you closer is, you know, just doing that. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, I really find the idea of shadow careers very interesting. And as I said, it's not to say that, that there is a bad job out there. It's only, you know, if it's taking away for you. So look, based on what your passion is, if, if, if there's anything that's taking you away from that, and then, then that becomes a shadow career, right? Um, that you really have to kind of examine and ask questions about. So that's what a shadow career is. Um, I hope you um, take that to heart and do some assessment, right? My purpose with this is to have introduced this in your life if you weren't familiar and for you to really do some soul searching of like, you know, are you um, thriving in your shadow career? Or are you really doing um, the career that, that you really want to be doing, right? So really take the time to assess. And if you're living, in, you know, out your shadow career, why? Why is that? Most likely the answer will have something to do with fear. Um, in one way, shape, or form, but um, but really examine that. You know, get down to specifics and what adjustments can you make to get out of your shadow career, right? Um, so yeah, please do that. Um, I hope it helps you. If you have any questions or thoughts of your own, please share them, whether down in the comment section or hit me up on social media at Phil Sweetick. I would love to converse with you. Likewise, if you think this episode might be a benefit to somebody, please share it with them. I certainly would appreciate it as I appreciate you and hope to see you next time.